Hello everyone, myself Professor Kishan G.S. Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Maharaja Institute of Technology, Mysore. In this today's session, let us study the production part of metal matrix composites that is related to module 4 in the subject material science for third semester mechanical engineering subject code bearing 18ME34. So, in the previous session, we have dealt with the basic understanding of composite material, the basic constituents of composite materials that is matrix and reinforcement phase, different types of matrices and different types of reinforcements along with the advantages, applications and disadvantages related to composite materials. Now, in this today's session, we are going to study the core part of composite materials fabrication that is on the first type that is metal matrix composites. So, when we say the term metal matrix composite, as the name itself suggests metal matrix, the matrix phase constituting for the development of composite material is basically the metal matrix okay, or metallic in its nature. So, here in this metal matrix composites, we have different methods of fabrication. The majorly focused fabrication is solid state method and liquid state method. So, we have different categorization of the metal matrix composites production. Under solid state method, it is diffusion bonding, explosive welding, high energy rate forming as well as powder metallurgy technique. Whereas in case of liquid state method, here it is stir casting, squeeze casting, spray deposition and other two categorizations are vapor co deposition method and in situ fabrication method. So, here basically when we target the solid state and the liquid state, the matrix will be in solid in its nature so that that leads to the formation of composite materials considering in solid phase to that of a composite specimen. Whereas, once it is liquid state method, the matrix will be in its liquid form that leads to the reinforcement to sub, you know, merge into it and gets the development of composite material. So, out of these categorization, we are going to study few with respect to the purpose of your examination or with respect to the syllabus. The first type of the metal matrix composites manufacturing goes with diffusion bonding. So, diffusion bonding is a process of the bonding up of the reinforcement which are usually made out of a long fiber nature which are considered to be silicon coated the boron fibers okay silicon carbide or silicon coated boron fibers will be the reinforcement whereas the metal matrix will be usually aluminum or any relevant type of matrices okay so here what happens the diffusion bonding takes place within the presence of a vacuum chamber wherein the arrangement of composite specimen is considered as a ply here ply is nothing but a layer of metal matrix onto which the reinforcement fibers are arranged in line. Again, on top of it, a layer of metal matrix is being considered. Again, on top of it, it is reinforcement fiber as such. So, the number of layers of this kind, that is the metal matrix on which the reinforcement is being considered. So, this number of layers is considered based on the thickness at which the specimen is to be derived or the specimen is to be developed. So, considering that this arrangement will be kept in the vacuum chamber under the assistance of the support at the bottom as well as at the top and inside the vacuum chamber the pressure is maintained to be at 35 mega Pascal on which it is being applied onto the ply while the temperature inside the vacuum chamber is kept at 300 degrees Celsius. So, this ply arrangement which is present inside the vacuum chamber is kept at 300 degrees Celsius and the ply is being subjected to a pressure of 35 mega Pascal. So, this pressure of 35 mega Pascal at 300 degrees Celsius inside the vacuum chamber results in application of compaction between the reinforcement fiber as well as the metal matrix which are considered here and that forms out to be a bond that is nothing but a composite specimen or a composite material. So, here since you are diffusing the presence of reinforcement fibers into the metal matrix, the entire process is called as 
diffusion bonding. So here once the specimen is being developed or considered out of this vacuum chamber that will be subjected to secondary heat treatment wherein the enhancement of the properties in the bonding will be a consideration in the structural application. So this is something regarding the diffusion bonding. Next comes the parameter called as powder metallurgy technique which is again a type of solid state method of fabrication for metal matrix composite. So here the powder metallurgical technique goes with three stages. One is atomization followed by compaction and the last one being sintering. See all these three stages accounts for the development of a product made out of a metal matrix composite. So basically what happens in this particular you know method powder metallurgical technique will take up the atomization as the first. So here both reinforcement as well as the matrix material will be considered in the metallic state itself. So what we do is we are going to heat the matrix material as well as the reinforcement to its molten state and thereby in the process of atomization the metal or the metallic combination what it is to be subjected to develop a composite material that metallic structure will be considered and that in its molten state it will be poured onto a chamber under the subjection of the you know high jet of water that leads to the conversion of the molten state of metal into powdered form. Both matrix and reinforcement will be subjected into atomization process wherein it leads to the consideration of the liquid or the metal in its molten state to get converted into metallic powdered form in the atomization process. Next comes the compaction which is represented here. This metallic powder that is both reinforcement and matrix will be considered will be mixed together and that particular mixture of reinforcement and matrix of metallic material is considered to be the metal powder and that particular metal powder is subjected into a cavity within the dye as per the requirement of the development of that particular composite product. So once this particular cavity is being filled by the metal powder which consists of the powdered form of both reinforcement and matrix, this metal powder inside the cavity will be subjected to an additional pressure by the upper punch as well as the lower punch. So additional pressure is being applied from the upper punch and the lower punch will act as a supporting platform and thereby this pressure which is being applied onto the metal powder in the next stage will be subjected to complete compaction that leads to the formation of a product which is a combination of both reinforcement and matrix phase. So here the compaction is assured such that the combination of material is taken care because if the combination of metal matrix as well as the metallic reinforcement is not properly selected then the compaction of that particular product will become a troublesome. Hence the combination of both should be at you know care which is to be observed while we are selecting the material and the pressure at which both these materials gets cumulatively attracted or bonded together or compacted is what it is to be focused in the compaction and thereby once you release the load or once you take off the pressure the metallic powder in the first stage will be resultant as a compacted part which is nothing but a composite specimen. This particular compacted part cannot be directly used for its practical application. That particular part should be taken to the third part of powder metallurgy technique that is called as sintering. Sintering is an operation wherein you are going to feed the compacted part in the powder metallurgy technique into a furnace wherein it is heated to an controlled atmospheric range with different parameters as per the requirement such that the properties of the compacted part during the fabrication or the processing of the compaction will get enhanced and that could be directly taken for its use in the you know practical application. So this is about powder metallurgy technique. Next comes the concept of stir casting. Here in case of stir casting the molten metal what we have taken is a mixture of reinforcement as well as matrix material. So basically the matrix material what we suggest in case of stir casting is usually aluminum 
and the reinforcement what will be taken into the stir casting process is usually a short fiber made out of ceramic material. So, ceramic materials in its short fiber state as well as aluminum in its liquid state constitutes the combination of reinforcement and matrix material here when we go with this stir casting process. So, here observe here this is a furnace which is considered with a tub like structure within which the molten metal, the molten metal is here the combination of reinforcement and matrix phase. So, that combination of reinforcement and matrix phase is kept inside the furnace and this particular tub like structure consists of heating coils on its entire surface so that upon the supply of additional power this heats the metal or the molten metal or the combination of metal which is placed inside the you know the entire tub or entire furnace. So, here as the name itself suggests stir casting we introduce a process of stirring with the assistance of mechanical leverages. So, basically it is the mechanical stirring that leads to the process called as stirring that combines the reinforcement and matrix phase inside the furnace that could be developed or considered into a preheated or a pre coated mold wherein which the component will be considered as per the design or as per the requirement. So, here the process goes like this basically the molten metal which is in the combination of reinforcement as well as the matrix will be fed into the furnace here and the furnace will be heated with additional power supply so that the molten stage of reinforcement and matrix try to get heated up and get mixed with each other completely. So, here while it is being heated the additional mechanical stirring action is introduced so that the lighter denser particles get accumulated at the top and the heavier denser particles get accumulated at the bottom so that heating becomes more effective and the entire combination of matrix and reinforcement will be mixed together and will be considered in its you know complete mixture as per the requirement for the product development. Here we do have the option of organ gas cylinder and the organ gas is you know considered to its entry into the chamber wherein the mechanical stirring of the composite material is considered to take out the vacuum content if present during the operation of stirring. So, meanwhile what happens whatever the oxygen content or any other particles that leads to the development of cavity here. So, that particular you know materials will be absorbed by the argon gas as well as due to the stirring action both the reinforcement and matrix will be mixed together and upon the density variation both lighter and denser particles will be heated and that will be taken out of the tap which is provided at the bottom of the furnace and the molten metal which is again coming out of the tap will be a proper mixture of matrix and reinforcement such that this particular material becomes a raw material to be fed into the preheated or preconsidered mold wherein which the product shape is being taken and this metal will be poured into that particular cavity and thereby you are going to get the product out of it. So, that is where stir casting comes into picture. So, majorly the stirring operation is focused to mix the matrix and reinforcement material completely okay, and thereby it is fed on to the other die wherein it is being manufactured. Next comes the concept of the squeeze casting again squeeze casting is again a type of metal matrix method wherein the square casting and you know, steel casting comes under liquid state method means to say that the combination of reinforcement as well as matrix will be almost in its liquid state during the compaction or, or during the fabrication process. So, in case of squeeze casting method we are supposed to concentrate on a die of which a product design is been considered as the cavity. So, observe here this is the cavity wherein we have a top die and bottom die and onto the bottom die we have the ejector pin. So, for this particular die in the second stage we are going to fill the cavity of this particular die using the reinforcement as per the calculation 
and also you are going to pour the molten matrix into it so thereby what happens the you know the calculated amount of matrix and reinforcement phase will be accumulated inside the cavity present in the die considered once this calculated amount of molten matrix as well as reinforcement is been enforced into the cavity here so thereby what we do is that you are going to apply pressure using the top die so the pressure application is such that it is around 80 to 100 mega pascal when it is to assure that the complete mixture of molten matrix and the reinforcement takes the shape up of the cavity and it is kept over a period of time. Once it is kept over a period of time, the time is considered to be the curing temperature for the considered matrix as well as reinforcement here and upon curing temperature reach, thereby what we do, you are going to release the pressure out of the top die and thereby at the end you are going to take the solidified part out of the squeeze casting method. Since you are squeezing the material from the cavity, to take the shape of the overall die what it is been considered the process is called as squeeze casting method so this is about one more method of liquid state fabrication for a metal matrix composite so the solidified part which is coming out of the squeeze casting again cannot be directly used for its any practical application inside now into the consideration whereas these parts are to be secondary treated so that the secondary treatment introduces the material to undergo huge amount of changes when it comes to the bonding between matrix and reinforcement the adhesionness between the reinforcement and matrix and thereby that leads to the proper strength carrying capacity for that particular product based on your type of application. So this is something regarding the metal matrix composites fabrication. So remember one thing as the name itself suggests metal matrix composite this is a processing phase wherein the matrix will be metallic in its nature so as we have described at the previous stage regarding different types of metal matrix composites the same combination holds good based on the temperature and pressure application as in case of solid state method based on again the material combination in its liquid stage as per the liquid state method so this is all about the production of metal matrix composites and various methods to be accounted so other information related to this will be shared through notes here so you can just refer the notes and get clarified with all the other different types of methods thank you